what is going on guys welcome to another video you know it's been a very long weekend out there for you traders i know you just really want to get back to the market so you can trade and make some money i understand that so what i'm going to do is make a video specifically for the number one stocks to watch going into tomorrow you know a lot of these stocks have a lot of potential i'm going over two short squeeze plays that have micro floats that are you know trending all over the internet have a lot of eyes on it and are i really expect both of these stocks to run going into pre-market and throughout the day tomorrow so make sure you watch the entire video because at the end i'll also be doing a brief update on ttoo but my subscribers are watching this play and still in this play i actually did take some profits on this one um the rest is actually writing risk free so i am still in the play but I'm also going to be discussing multiple other stocks. So you really want to watch the entire video, put notifications on so you do not miss these plays and like the video. It really helps me out. First stock I want to talk about is ticker AXLA. This one closed up around 80% or just over 70% last Friday with a new COVID hospital admissions really increasing for the last week, actually doubling in many areas. You know, this is a problem that doesn't look to be going away anytime soon. So this is one that, you know, is already up around 400%. Um, just was at 10 cents a week ago and is now trading over 40 cents or just at 37 cents. You know, even though it's up 400%, you know, that's still dangerous because it's up. You know, a lot of people might take profits. It's still very likely that this one has a strong continuation with their momentum going into next week. This one did just receive a $5 price target. Um, but keep in mind, these analysts and these price targets are not usually that accurate, but it's still a price target by an analyst, a uh, $5 price target for a stock trading under uh, 40 cents trading at 42 cents actually went down 7% in after hours. So it's currently trading at 37 cents, I believe. But either way, went up well over 70% last uh, Friday. And this was mainly due to an Accela grain and patent for long COVID fatigue treatment and just, you know, all the COVID news in general, you know, put a lot of eyes on the stock and made it move. So, you know, we could see a lot of momentum going into next week, actually going into tomorrow. Um, especially as we get more news on uh, the new COVID variant spreading and stuff like that. And considering we just had Labor Day weekend, a lot of people are gathering and everything like that. This is going to, you know, increase significantly. So, you know, with all this news coming out, even though this one is up 400%, I still honestly expect this one to have a continuation uh, going up next week. I really think this one will continue to go up. That's just my opinion. Could be wrong, but, but still definitely one to watch right now. Next thought we have to talk about is ticker CRKN, Crown Electrokinetics Corporation, trading at $1.20. And, and it looks like this could be the bottom for the stock. Just had a reverse split. So the float is a micro float now and there are a lot of eyes on it. It's trending all over stock twits. It was number one most new watchers in the last 24 hours on stock twits. Uh, ranked 20 something most popular on Weeble, and that looked like it was continuing to go up. Just check that yesterday. Looks like these short sellers could be trapped in this play. They just had an offering come out. They filed an S1, and they had an offering that was, you know, around August, mid August, or something like that. They they put this out. The filing was out, but then last Friday they actually canceled this offering, trapping these shorts. So we could see, you know, shorts actually got greedy on this when they rode this. You know, they shorted this one all the way down to a reverse split, and a lot of them stayed in. It looked like it was up eight percent in after hours. You know, and I believe that's mainly due to the offering being canceled and terminated. So this is definitely one that's trending that, you know, can easily double going into next week. That has a good chance to double or at least go up a lot going into next week and throughout the week. And actually really probably the uh, number one stock to watch tomorrow, you know, in my honest opinion. So definitely want to watch CRKN. This one was actually trading around five cents before the reverse split. Um, just had a one for 60 reverse split. Like I said, had around 500 plus, you know, probably more than that now. This was actually the other day when I looked at this, but it had 500 plus new watchers on uh, Stock Twitch since Thursday or Friday alone. They have a conference call coming out on September 18th, 52 week high, uh, 52 week high of $41. Looks bottomed out and shorts could be trapped. So this is one you definitely have to watch and it's trending all over the internet. So it has a lot of momentum going into going into pre-market tomorrow. Um, I, I actually expect this one to go up in pre-market and throughout the day tomorrow. That's just my opinion. Could be wrong. So T2 Biosystems Inc. Ticker TTOO trading at 36 cents. I actually called this play at 30 cents. It ran all the way up to 70 cents and we made a lot of money on this play, but now it's down, you know, back to where we started actually just above to where I first called it out. So still up since I originally called it. But, you know, it did have a lot of momentum uh, last Friday, up 12% for the day and up another 2 or 3% in after hours. So good momentum going into next week. They are on their final leg in terms of having to do a reverse split. If they do not get the price to $1 plus by November 20th, they will have to do a reverse split. They actually have to get the price to $1 plus and remain that for 10 consecutive trading days. 
before November 20th to really look at that. But they do have a lot of pending FDA news that could come out at any moment. There's a lot of rumors that something is coming out this week. Um, a lot of hype about it. There are a lot of new job openings for this company. Um, so something might be brewing. Something might be about to happen. Just some rumors here. But this is actually they actually had around, you know, 10 plus new jobs opening up out of nowhere it looked like so that's something to look at right now if this company does not get a good catalyst or a good pr come out then they're probably going to have to do a reverse split which will really hurt the stock price they are running out of cash they are losing millions of dollars each quarter so they really need these they really need the fda grant and clearance everything like that but there's a lot of catalysts that could happen at any moment that could you know easily send this to one dollar plus um so if you don't know about this company they deal with sepsis the detection testing and treatment of sepsis which is the number one cause of hospitalizations in the u.s there you know there's a huge demand for sepsis testing and treatments and this company actually has a huge advantage over their uh, competitors in terms of their testing method because their testing method can take you know one of their first uh te one of the first stages in their testing you know their process only takes around three to five hours and their competitors their process takes you know multiple days up to a week if this company can be the dominant and the best pick for sepsis treatments and testing it will be huge because like i said sepsis is the number one cause of hospitalization in the u.s costing the healthcare system around 60 plus billion dollars each year so like i said there's a crazy demand for what they're doing and if they are the best option um, there's a very bright future for this company just may take some time to get going but right now in the short term they have to get a catalyst out sepsis is also the number one cause of rehospitalization within 30 days around 20 percent of sepsis survivors are back in the hospital back, you know within 30 days again so considering every single minute is a life or death scenario for sepsis patients with their with these tests going on nobody's going to use a five to seven day test when this company has one that can be done within uh within a few hours so this is definitely a lot of potential for this company but in the short term like i said um they are they really have to do something so you know if they do get the fda news and stuff like that this one you know could easily the their product could be marketed they, this company could actually get bought out if they do go silent you know it looks like they will have to do a reverse split so they do have the 2023 annual meeting of stockholders where they are going to discuss a one for 50 up to a one for 150 reverse split they don't actually have to do a reverse split um this is actually in a week when they're having this meeting they don't actually have to do a reverse split but they are going to talk about it so you definitely have to watch this and they really need the stock price to go up so we, it really looked good to get some momentum going into this week and get a catalyst out so that's what we're looking at if they don't get it obviously this stock's going to tank because in the short term they really need to uh regain compliance with nasdaq so that's what you're looking at with this play right here it's purely a catalyst play they have to get news out right now those are some of these stocks that i'm really watching going into this week and make sure you like the video put notifications on and if you made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys make a lot of money this week, and I will see you on the next video.